Good morning, and welcome to episode one of our new podcast, Voices of Dune Landing. I'm your host, Chacha Chatterbox. This podcast is a part of a new series where we interview locals from a small coastal town in Maine, trying to get a little taste of local color. Oh, crrr. Today, we have a very special guest, Mrs. Todd. Before we get started, however, I'd like to announce that this very special first episode is sponsored by Tilly's Tackle Box. Let's hear a few words from them before we begin our interview. Are you trying to get out on the water and get fishing? Is all your fishing equipment old, broken, or outdated? Well, you're in luck. Come on down to Dunnett Landing to our local bait and tackle shop, Tilly's Tackle Box, owned by local fisherman Elijah Tilly. This is your one-stop shop for everything fishing, from poles and lines to bait and lures. Whatever you need, we got you covered. Don't need anything? Well, come on down anyway and slow slide with your fellow fishermen of Dunnett Landing. Take a trip down to Tilly's Tackle Box for all your fishing needs today. All right, let's get started. Mrs. Todd, what is up? Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do down in Dunnett Landing. Oh, I'm just Mrs. Todd, an herbalist and your typical resident of Dunnett Landing. Enough said. An herbalist, you say? Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, I tend to an herb garden that has been featured in the book, The Country of the Pointed Furs. I'm happy my herb garden is getting spread around. I get to have more people respecting my craft, just as much as the people I care for do. Something few folks who grew up with the more modern medicinal technologies get the luxury of. Not to say I don't believe in that. I have an understanding with the doctor here, but it's nice to know when my expertise is needed. We love a natural sun-loving sister. That's a craft you can take to the grave, honey. You mentioned that you were part of a book, The Country of Pointed Furs, and I know that was written largely about your daily life in Dunit Landing. Let's get to the real tea. How is it having someone peek into your everyday life and write about it in this book? It was all right. She was good company, but she was definitely an outsider to the rest of us who live here in Dunit Landing. Sometimes it was hard to understand how the girl hadn't gotten the idea of Maine after she spent a whole, whole summer with us, you know? you think after a few months she'd understand how we live our lives here. I'm not at all too sentimental with goodbyes. You give them too much finality when they're all said and done the way city folks do it. I hope she visits us again when things go a lot smoother for her. But people who aren't from around here tend to have a hard time truly understanding our ways and where we live, you know? Don't you just hate people like that who think that they know something about a person or a place when they actually don't? I think it's cool of you that you did let someone into your life that is so different. That's why that's what we love about this show. You are giving us the chance to peek into a glimpse of your life in Dune It Landing. We are going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we will continue this conversation about your summer visitor and get into some details about your past love life. Oh, crrr. While we are off, I would like to mention that this first episode is also sponsored by another small business, Mrs. Blackett's Diner. Be right back and enjoy the following message. Finding yourself feeling hungry after a day on the ocean or exploring the shores of Down East Maine? Are you looking for a wholesome, home-cooked meal to fill you up? Well, if you are, you're in luck. The newest seafood restaurant just opened up in this little seacoast town, Mrs. Blacklet's Diner. We are famous for our hearty and delicious clam and potato chowder, made fresh daily with local harvested ingredients. We also serve a wide variety of other seafood entrees, including lobster, clam, and haddock. Next time you find yourself in need of some good food in Dunnett Landing, Come on by to Miss Blacklet's Diner. You won't be disappointed. And we're back. This is what all our listeners are here for. So, Mrs. Todd, did you share things about your love interest or any private secrets with your tenant this summer? I know it's weird to think about such silly things now, but having lived such a long life that you have, you are bound to be full of secrets. I did sit, share some private things with her, yes, and you know, looking back on it, maybe telling a writer about some very important parts of my life wasn't the best idea. I mean, she was staying with me, and it's only right to get to know your tenants, but I was really feeling connected to this girl. She was interested and honest to everything, fun to be around. But look at me now. I guess all sorts of people are now thinking I'm a no-good woman because of it. Well, love can be fickle, and there's nothing wrong with me loving more than one person. People can feel love for many different people over time, and just because I held love for someone while married to another is just fine by me. I don't see nothing wrong with that. I agree, Mrs. Todd. Sometimes the heart just wants what the heart wants. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the podcast today and having this conversation with me. It was fascinating to learn 
a little bit more about you and your life in Dunit Landing. It's... D thank you for having me. And thank you all for tuning in today and listening to episode one. See you next time with next week's guest, Mrs. Fostick. Oh, crrr. <laughs>